portions of it. Uh, what else would these veterans want to tell this generation? Let me just give you a couple of other quotes that I think will be in the memorial. Americans didn't go to war or territorial conquest. We went to war over ideas, over our way of life, over the defense of freedom. But it was brutal. Like we just went through that. And at the end of the war, on the 2nd of September 1945, the Japanese surrender, uh, Truman, President Truman, made this statement, which I think says a lot. I'm speaking to you at a high moment in history. The war has produced total victory. This is a time of great rejoicing and solemn contemplation. We can now turn to the grave task of preserving the peace. War must be abolished from the earth. Civilization cannot survive another total war. If this war we're getting into now ends up in a total war with nuclear weapons, this civilization will not survive another total war. Truman is right. It's up to the young people, the today's generation, people like David out there, uh, you know, we're going to have to make sure that we don't have a total war, that they've still got to preserve freedom. It's not an easy task. And did, so he put the word civilization in there. Have you heard a lot of that in recent days? This isn't just us. It's, it's a challenge to civilization. Then there's another quote. It came later on a couple of years after the war ended, and George Marshall became Secretary of State. And the issue was to rebuild the United States.
Mary Jo Redding said to Vivian, and I really believe this, thank you for your story about what it was like as a black American in World War II. Because of your commitment and sacrifice, you laid the foundation for the post-war civil rights movement, which I think did come out of World War II.